Hello then guys and welcome to another YouTube video. In this one I'm going to be showing you how to uh, crop a song so that you can just take say 30 seconds of the song and discard the rest of the track. Um, like you can use this for say drum performances where you just need 30 seconds of the start of a song um, and then you know, get rid of the, the rest of the song. Um, we're going to start by opening up GarageBand. Uh, this is the way I do it. I'm not saying it's the quick and best easiest way but I find it to be a very simple way of doing it. Uh, we're just going to open up an empty project and then we can just go to the record using a microphone or line input. Then we can open up iTunes and then drag the song that we want into GarageBand. But as you can see here we've now got the song. Uh, it's just kind of there you go, lining itself up. What we can do here is delete this audio track because we don't need it, we're just going to be using the song that's here. Then as you can see, at the top, if you move your cursor above here, you can see there's like the little kind of trim icon turns up. And then what we can do is drag this down to say there. And we can just zoom in on that a little bit more. And then you can play the song. And turn them, them thing off there. Just listen to it and see where it's going to stop. Let's get this forward a little bit. Uh, see, that's a little bit too uh, far for me. I want it to start when the uh, vocals begin. So if we take it back there, start the track again. See if this is better. It's a very simple tutorial, but and I'm sure there's many people that want to uh, do it. So we'll just stick with this, and then the track should stop. There, there you go, and then that's the track stopped. Now all we have to do, well. Let me go to that, sorry. Now all we have to do from this here is just go to file, I think, or share, sorry, song to iTunes. So if I just go through that again with you, share along the top, song to iTunes, and you can call it whatever you want. So what's this? Extraordinary. And we'll call it cut. And then we can just press share. And then as you can see now, the song is here in iTunes and it's playing and it's just 30 seconds long just as I wanted the first little clip of the song and uh, yeah that's all done so it's pretty simple and easy to uh, do this on GarageBand uh, if anyone knows of any other ways or you want to know how to do anything else you can fade songs as well and do things like that sorry <laughs> you can fade songs and like raise the volume of them but we can do that in another tutorial if that's what you want to do. You know, try and keep this short and sweet. But anyway, thanks for watching this YouTube video, guys. Please like, rate, and subscribe.